everyone, I am Terry Fallon. And I am Lloyd O'Dell. And we are Terry and Lloyd and Company. And we want to do this video, a market update January 2022 and what this means to you. All right, Lloyd, heading into 2022. What are we expecting? Yeah, well, I think there was an expectation that the market would slow down a little bit after the holidays. Last year, 2021 was, I think, in the top five uh, of home sales. So we had a phenomenal year. And I think people sometimes maybe hoping the market would slow down, at least the buyers, and we have not seen that. So starting with this year. So right out the gate, my phone is ringing, both buyers and sellers, <laughs> wanting to know what the market's gonna look like. Yeah. What would you say? If you are a seller, it's still a strong time to sell. Uh, we have still a shortage of inventory, a lot of buyers out there, and pretty much at every price point. Uh, we had a listing at 150,000. Mm -hmm. So within a couple days, we got $20,000 over list price. We have buyers that were looking at the $250,000 price point. So this one house had 25 offers and there was but it was also priced right. It was also priced right. <laughs> that, that is the key. Always gotta point you that out. Still always have to price it right. Yeah. Uh, we also have in the, the upper end, uh, $850,000 property mm -hmm. in uh, Northville, uh, went on sale on Thursday, and by Thursday afternoon, they were completely booked for showings all weekend. Historically, mm -hmm. what does right. the market look like as compared to what it was before? How long are we gonna stay where we're at? Well, you know, no one has a crystal ball, so we're not sure exactly when this market's gonna turn. But looking at the numbers and, and knowing typical years, uh, cycles, I mean, when you look back at the, the worst that we've seen in our lifetime in real estate was between 2005 and 2010. Mm -hmm. So that's somewhere in that six to seven uh, year length, and that's typically somewhat normal. But we've been in a strong seller's market since the beginning of 2011. So we're now 11, 11 12 years. Yeah, 11, 12 years <laughs> going into it. So no one can predict the future, but we do feel like we're on borrowed time. So what does that mean to somebody wanting to sell? Yeah. Um, if they're in the market, the sooner the better. Because historically we know seasonality, more homes are gonna be coming on the market in spring and summer. Uh, we'll also have more buyers, but it's a supply and demand uh, business, just mm -hmm. like most things. So right now we have an extremely limited supply. So that's gonna help our sellers right now get top dollar for their home. So what do prices look like right now as compared to previous years. Yeah, one of the reports that we that we focus on every month is the S&P Case Shiller Report. So they look at the top 20 markets nationwide and this was just released yesterday, but the average uh, increase in prices across the country was 18.8 percent wow. in 12 month period 18 percent yeah 18. have we ever had a growth like this before uh they're actually you've been in the business a long time like <laughs> you know it's kind of funny if you looked at october's number we were on track for 19 percent wow. so things are starting to slow down a little bit uh but still to have that tremendous growth is just unbelievable but we have to keep in mind though that is a national average right it's like saying the the average weather in the united states is 60 degrees so <laughs> Here it's zero. Right. <laughs> Somewhere out west or down south is a lot better. It's like so, 85. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're curious on the values of, of what of what your home has gone up, please let us know because it is different from community to community, Absolutely. different price points. So if you're curious, let us know. We think you'll be happily surprised on mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I know because uh, I just put my house up for sale. Uh, I know I was happily surprised. Yes, I sold mine just a year ago <laughs> right. too. Yeah, so it's a good time to sell. <laughs> Take it from the expert. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, people want to possibly wait for prices to go down. And if there's a market correction, it may. It's not going to be anywhere what we saw back in 2005, mm -hmm. 2010. But Hopefully. sometimes as markets change, that could happen. But we also know that uh, interest rates aren't going to stay this low forever. The Federal Reserve has been telling us, especially recently, they, I think they, they're planning on five different uh, price uh, increases over the next year, year and a half. Oh. Uh, so we'd be pretty confident that rates are gonna go up. So if prices come down, and I don't see that happening anytime soon, mm -hmm. uh, but if they were, odds are great that the interest rates are gonna go up. So if you take into consideration 
maybe the lower sales price, the higher rates, your odds are you're still gonna have a higher monthly payment. Right. And that's usually not what buyers are, are looking for. So in this market, we really have a win-win where it's a fabulous time to sell your home, mm -hmm. but with low rates, it's a great time to buy. I mean, if we look historically over the last 50 years, according to, to Freddie Mac, yeah. uh, that the average 30-year fixed rate for the last 50 years is a little under 8%. That's a rate about the first time, or the first house yeah. that I bought mm -hmm. was 8.75, and it was a great rate at the time. Yeah, absolutely. I was happy to have it. I, I've got properties that are originally at 9%. Yeah. Uh, so having rates this low, even though they're not as low, because we, we hit the bottom last year on interest rates, you know, in the mid twos. Yeah. I had a client who got 2.75 at a million dollars, right. which is unbelievable. It is, it's almost free money. <laughs> It really is. So, but when, when when interest rates start to go up, I think we have short-term memories mm -hmm. of, okay, if they go up to three and a half, if they go up to four, right. four and a half, you know, people tend it's to freak out. Good. Yeah, freak out that <laughs> oh, interest rate is so high. <laughs> but look back at the last 50 years, yeah. it's under 8%. So we really think it is a, mm -hmm. it's kind of odd. It is a win-win market right now for yeah. both buyers and sellers. All right, so in summary. Yes. Sellers. For our sellers. For our sellers, we are going to price it right. It's it's still critical. Even though prices are going up, we're getting multiple offers, it's still critical on where you price your home. Because we actually see sellers pricing at higher than what the houses are selling, because mm -hmm. they feel like the market's going up. Well, what's happening is it's too aggressive. Right. So we still see a lot of homes that are uh, having to have price reductions. So if you price it right, the market's gonna push it up to where the market feels it needs to be. So that's your best. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and for our buyers. For our buyers, really critical, be prepared. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by that is uh, talk to a local preferred lender, uh, getting totally pre-approved. Mm -hmm. And also be realistic when you're making these offers that you're gonna have competition. If you like the home, odds are other buyers are gonna like the home. So you need to have a plan of what it's going to take to get your offer accepted. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of making that move. Absolutely. And it really is a win-win market. It's a win for the sellers. They're getting top dollar for the homes. It's a win for the buyers because they're getting locked in on still historic uh, low interest rates. Great time to buy mm -hmm. and a great time to sell. Absolutely. That's our market update for January. 2022. Yeah. And if you're interested in what's going on in your neighborhood, the values of your home, uh, please let us know because we talked about some general numbers here. Again, uh, national statistics, national averages. Uh, it is different from neighborhood to neighborhood, from mm -hmm. price point to price point. So we are here to help you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And you can find us at terrylloyd.com or you can reach us at 248-278-9800. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Right. Have a great day.